Jordan Wright, and Mark Andre Barrio in the catchweight division of 190 pounds, just a little bit over that middleweight limit. 30 years old and 32 years old. Height advantage going Jordan Wright, reach advantage going Jordan Wright, and the guy that's not taking the short notice is going to be Jordan Wright. Mark Andre Barrio, yes, he does have some pretty crazy cardio, so I don't think that's going to matter too much uh, with it being a short notice fight. I think it kind of cancels out a little bit there, but um, yeah, I think Jordan Wright is going to be the more powerful striker. He is the just better striker overall. Um, he's taller, he's lengthier, he's a slightly more powerful, and Mark Andre Barrio coming in at, 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 in his last fight with a knockout loss to Chidi Anjikwani, I think he's going to be a little bit more hesitant coming in on a guy like Jordan Wright, who we saw go out there, knock out E.K. Villanueva, Jamie Pickett, G Gabriel Checo, I mean, so many guys he's going out there and just landing some really big shots, and, and then knocking them out, so Mark Andre Barrio, yes, he's usually like that Sean Strickland type of guy coming forward, putting on a heavy, heavy pressure, looking to out volume you, out cardio you for the win. But again, he is coming in on short notice. Jordan Wright is overall the better striker. He's the more powerful striker. He's taller, he's lengthier. And most likely, uh, for a lot of you guys, you'd probably think Jordan Wright by knockout here. That is what a lot of people are thinking. 78% going Jordan Wright by knockout. But Mark Andre Barrio, that, that loss to Chidi Anjikawani, that is a powerful man. That was a crazy, crazy overhand right that Chidi Anjikawani landed. I, I can see Jordan Wright landing a knockout here, but I, I think Mark Andre Barrio is going to be a little bit more tentative um, to actually get hit with those huge shots that would knock him out. So I'm going to say the fight goes to a decision here. I think Jordan Wright is going to outstrike him at range, use the height, use the reach, use those powerful shots every now and then uses karate uh little style that he likes to use in most of his fights to slightly edge out two of those rounds and win the fight by a 29 and 28 decision